In this episode, we are going to learn something about strings in C programming. So, a string is a nothing but is a character array. So, we already learned something about an integer array or float array. So, it is possible to declare a character array. A character array in a C program is simply called a string. So, a string is defined as a collection of characters. Or we can say that a string is a character array. So, as an introduction to strings, here in this episode, I'm going to show you how to declare a string, how to initialize a string in a C program. So, a string is a character array. So, you can declare a string in the same way you declare an integer array or float array. So, here the data type is character. So, you have to specify the data type as char. Now you have to specify the variable name or identifier. So here I name the variable as name. Next you have to specify the dimension. Dimension means how many elements you need to add into this array. So here I am going to add 5 elements and end of statement. So you have to specify a semicolon. So this is a character array or you can say that name is a string which is capable of holding five elements okay so now here I'm going to initialize the string or this character array with some values you can initialize the array the string or the character array in the same way you initialize an integer array so you have to start some curly brackets now you have to specify the elements so here I'm going to put some values first character is j second character is o third character is h and final character is n okay so this is the declaration and initialization of a string in a c program this is much similar to declare and initialize an integer array but except the single quotes so here it is not integer or floating value here it represents characters so you have to specify a single quotes for every elements and also you have to specify the comma operator to separate each elements in this array okay now this is a valid array declaration and initialization we can compile the program compilation is success because this is a valid statement okay now here I am going to declare another array char place and specify that is here I am not going to specify any dimension and here I am going to initialize the array as a word. So a character array is simply called a string. So by using a string you have to you have to save some words or you have to save some sentence so in the first declaration we initialize the array with some single characters so we have to put a semicolon single quotes in every character and we have to separate each character by comma operator but in the second declaration this is also a string but here we are not specifying each character but instead we declare the array as a complete word or a sentence so if you declare if you initialize the array with the, some single character you have to specify single quotes and if you declare an array or a string using a complete sentence or word in that case you have to use the double quotes so if i put so before going to check it again i compile the program now again the compilation is success so here instead of single quotes double quotes I use single quotes of course you got some compiler error here is a compiler error because this is not a valid initialization if it is a word or sentence you have to use double quotes instead of single quotes okay so same in the case here if I put a double quotes in each character this will cause some serious error here also an error is occur because it is not a sentence or word it is each character so you have to use a single quotes instead of double quotes okay these are the these are two array declaration or string declaration in a c program 
And one more thing. Here I'm going to add a special character called slash zero. So this is only available in character array or string array. So the end of the string or end of the array is represented using a special character called a slash zero. This means this is the n is the last character in this array. After the last character, we have to put a special symbol called a slash zero. Slash zero indicates the end of the string or end of this array. But it is optional. I compile the program now. There is no error. But I there is no need to put the last character slash zero. So I compile the program again. Now there is no error. So if you are not putting the last character slash zero, the compiler will automatically put the last character slash zero that indicates the end of the array or end of the string. Okay. So that's enough for the introduction to array. Go to the next video to learn more about strings in C programming.